This will be a quick and uh, dirty, basically, uh, demonstration of how I've set up XBMC um, to recognize uh, home movies and keep them, pretty much keep them completely separate from the uh, cinema type uh, movies. Um, so this is my media library here. Uh, this is my normal uh, movies folder, uh, TV shows, for example. And if I go into home movies, you can see that each movie is actually in its own folder as well. I'll just go ahead and ignore these uh, uh, JPEGs and that. Um, XB and C also ignores them. So if I go into one of these folders here, you can see that I've actually got an actors folder. The extra thumbs, um, just ignore that. That's why the dash is there, so XBMC will ignore that. But basically, that was created by Ember Media Manager, which is what I use to create my movie uh, NFO files. Uh, it also uh, automatically scraped the movie um, uh, for images, and then I used those images that were an extra thumbs to choose for my fan art and folder and all of that. Uh, they're rather crude. I'm probably going to scrape the movie myself manually and, and pick the images because I just didn't like the quality of these. Um, so if I go ahead and... Uh, oh, I should back up. Let's go into the actors folder. So you can see that it's a first name underscore last name dot TBN, um, which is the same name. If I were to open up the NFO file, let's see what I have here. Uh, let's just use Notepad, uh, which is the same name I'm actually using for the uh, actor. So now if we flip over to XBMC, you can see that here's my movie collection. And if I go into the H's, ah, there we go, home movies, uh, movie set. So it's a collection, uh, custom uh, poster there and custom fan art. If I hit enter and go in, you can see, now once again, these are very bad crude images, fan art and poster art. I understand that. I just whipped to get this together fast. Um, and so here's the one I was showing you the folder of before. If I hit I for uh, information, you can see that um, we've got some information showing up down over here. We've got the number of minutes, the, um, the year and everything, and we even have the actors uh, showing up here. So uh, I don't have one for Cody. I have one for Mariah, as you saw before. The metadata has been scraped. Um, and this, none of these movies here tie in at, at all uh, to the regular uh, movies, with exception to the probably the individual uh, one JPEG fan art for each one of them. I'm assuming is going to show up here uh, as it uh, changes through different fan art in the background. One issue that I was having. Um, is with actors. So once I, I create this name, this TBN file, um, I actually don't have to put that name into an actors folder uh, when that person is in another movie. XBMC, for whatever reason, is caching that name and it automatically, anytime it sees it as a cast for another movie, it automatically displays the pick. 